Hey guys, and welcome back to Command and Conquer. It's been a little while since I've uh, played this game. This level is extremely hard if you don't play it smartly, which I'll explain as we continue. I haven't played this game for a long time either. Right, take that guy out. Keep moving. There we go. We really need all of these soldiers to survive if we can. We literally need every soldier. We're really up against the time here. Right, there we go. Keep moving. You just keep moving. Just keep moving. Okay, come on. Frag the tank. Frag the tank. Get it done, Marines. No, no, no. Nice. That's some nice grenade work, guys. Nice throwing. Excellent. Now you lot, get your asses up there. Get your asses up there now. Okay. That will work. Now we're going to cheese the game here on this level. Because it makes the level significantly easier. Because as I've kind of mentioned before, I am by no means an expert at this game. Not even close. Right, let's dump you out there. Start building you. Let's get our dudes up here. We need our guys to explore as much as we possibly can. I want a power plant. Definitely going to want a barracks. And then we're going to want to build our refinery. Start cracking out some, uh, some troops. Really, guys? Why can you not deploy? There we go. Come on. There we are. Let's get the refinery on the go. And we're going to save. Because this game can go tits up so freaking fast, it's not even funny. I mean, it might be funny. Depends on your perspective of, on life, I suppose. Right, there we go. Crack out. Guys, attack. The AI really makes you scratch your head in this game. Right, drop that down. You, buddy, go harvest. We're also going to get a rocket troop. Right, let's start building some sandbags. Now, this is where the cheese factor comes in. Because sandbags, 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 we can actually layer up quite nicely. And you can use them to block the AI. And the AI will never understand uh, how sandbags work. It's quite entertaining. And on some levels, it really, really makes all the difference. And of course, sandbags are incredibly cheap. But they will constantly attack us from this bridge, which will massively screw us over in the long term. If we don't use this one trick, which sounds like some kind of cheap internet uh, sales pitch, you can defeat your enemies by using this one simple trick. Click bit. Right, kill them. Now they're going to constantly throw flamethrower troops at us as well. And we've got a light tank there as well, which kind of don't want to play with. But we might not have a choice here. Right, frag it. Okay, we do have a rocket soldier there as well, which is going to help. Okay, good stuff. Come on, bring them down. Excellent. Okay, now we can kind of start focusing on our wall, which we really need. Cannot overstate that enough. And at this rate, we could actually start cracking out some more grenadiers. I'm a fan of my grenadiers. I really am. They will probably, probably save our ass. There we go. Here comes the first wave of flamethrower guys, which I'm not looking forward to. These guys are brutal. Br uh, see what I mean? See how unfair flamethrower guys are. Come on. There we go. Okay. Just about managed to survive that. 
building. But it did kind of come down to the wire there. We need to replace all of our dudes. Now their attacks are going to get significantly stronger from here on out. Construction complete. Now if we were trying to do this legitimately, we would uh, kind of be hosed because we would have overstretched our resources by some significant margin already. We do need to keep scouting because we can't build sandbags. Construction complete. Building. In the uh, in the shroud, which is something to remember. Sandbags are a great idea. See, they've already um, they have already remassed their troops. So spread these guys out as much as we can. Come on, there we go. What we might do is invest in a guard tower or two. The only problem with the guard tower is the rocket guys. Run! Oh, okay, that's not too bad. We can we can live with that. There we go. We can live with that. That's fine. Okay. Construction complete. Might want to get a couple of guard towers. Might be the way to do it. The only problem with the guard towers, of course, is uh, rocket troopers, enemy rocket troopers, can outrange them. Construction complete. Which is obviously bad. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. So bear that in mind. Construction complete. There we go. Construction complete. Now we could. Building. Be a little bit sly in a minute. Let's get some more Building. dudes. They will start sending tanks at us as well, which uh, I don't need to tell you is also problematic. Tanks are bad because we don't really have anything at the moment that we can uh, push back against if they send tanks after us. But once this wall's up, we can start having a little bit of a breather and uh, building our forces. Now, they don't actually send troops down that way, which is quite nice. Come on, a couple more bits, I think. A couple more sandbags. One more, or are we good? Once we've got that... Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we can start... Chillax in a little bit. We've got some more troops. Let's explore. We also need to sell this. We need to be very careful not to sell the harvester there. Uh, let's start amassing. We need to clear out these as well, which we'll do in a minute. This, I think, will make a nice little area for our orcas. And now, actually, we've done that. We can... Game controls. Speed the game up. There we go. That's better. That's better. Right, now we've got ourselves some breathing space. Let's crack out a wall factory. Now, there should be some enemy troops down here, I think. Yep. Yep. Yes, of course there is. Nothing too intense, luckily. And there's more Tiberium down there, which is great. Because we... Ah, look. You can already see. Already see. Look at that. Fools! It's okay. We, we can laugh at them. Now, one thing we will have to do is manage the amount of uh, troops are building up outside our base. There's a very easy way to do that. Get a couple of these. All right, let's explore the rest of our area. Now, we could actually get some RPG guys, thinking about it. But we're not going to. Not yet. Let's put the game on max... No... Let's put the game on maximum speed. There we go. Just whilst we're getting built up. You can see the AI is really struggling. You know, this is such a strange omission in the AI. I don't know, like, how this actually got past testing. But, you know, it's useful that it did. Put it that way. We need to creep our tank forward. There we go. And we can keep the herd, keep the numbers down. Want to get a couple of tanks. We'll keep one there. 
And we should... Oh, we're going to have to take that out as well. Let's just crack out a couple of tanks. Just in case they actually break through the line. Which, by the way, they won't. Now, how... What's the range on this guy? Can't attack there. That's good. Oh, you can attack there, though. Okay. Right, so we need to waste that. Which three tanks should be able to take him out. And once we've done that... There we go. Now we can really keep the numbers down. But you there. You there. And you there. <laughs> silos needed. I didn't hear silos. I heard something about needing another refinery. Okay. So, we do need to be a little bit careful with our resources. Of which we have more here. Although, this looks like it's being harvested. Which is curious. Though, ah, another flame. Look, look at that. A flame tank. That could have been dangerous. So, we have some more Tiberium here. That's actually really nice to know. I didn't really want to lose that tank either, if I'm being honest. Alright, come on. Another refinery. Another refinery go. Right. That should give us the economy that we need. And we also do need another power plant before we expand. Right, let's move you up. <laughs> now you're in the kill zone, my friend. And you don't want to be in the kill zone. Especially when you can't fire back. Ooh. Let's get a repair bay, just to fix up our tanks. So they're going to throw ridiculous quantities of uh, money at us now, which is fine. We don't mind relieving them of their equipment. Let's get you there. Fix you up. You don't need repairs. Start building you. Now, what else do we need? We can start building up our, our helicopter support, because we will need that. Now, what we could do is build a Humvee, let him through, and get him to go scout. Remember, guys, it doesn't matter how you win these missions. Winning is winning. There we go. Now, let's get you there. Now, can the infantry, the rocket guys, actually... No, they can't. Even the rocket guys can't get us. Good to know. Very good to know. You can go there. Now, they might be able to hit him. Nope. Okay, so medium tanks can pretty much out, uh, outrange everything. That is really good to know. Let's get a Humvee. Or maybe two. And go scouting. Construction complete. Best way to go scouting. Yes, sir. Have you? Let's get the first of our air arm. I wish you could use the scroll wheel to go up and down here, which obviously the scroll wheel didn't exist. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Might want to bring you there. Just to thin the herd. There we go. Sell that. Right, this is a suicide run, but that's fine. Let's go explore this place. There we are. Nope. Okay, so that's where their harvester is. We could be proper dirty here. In fact, why not? Let's be a little scumbag, shall we? Let's just block this area off. We're going to funnel these fuckers right up. You know, once I discovered this tactic, I really enjoyed it. It's so much fun. And it's so interesting just to see how quickly you can cheese the enemy. There we go. We could get a radar as well. I suppose. Building. Now let's sell. So we don't need any of that. And we don't really get a lot of money back, I don't think, for the sandbags, which, you know, it's hardly surprising how much are second hand sandbags actually worth. I don't know. Probably fuck all, let's be fair. Right. 
Now, another interesting thing about this mission is we don't actually have to destroy this base. We only have to get through it. We should also now have the equipment to blast through this area. Let's get you locked up. Let's get you locked up. I think we're a little bit too close. Yeah, we are, but it shouldn't. It won't matter. I'm just moving back a little bit like that. Now I don't know if they will attack if an enemy is behind them. You say they're not exactly smart. Right, let's continue getting our orcas. We need four orcas, I believe, to destroy one of these. Uh, and we should also get a Humvee and scout this area out. I don't think there's much in there, to be honest. Building construction. There we go. This can be squad two. Start removing those. Um, we also need a power plant. There we go. Excellent. Beautiful. There we go. And not thought they were so strong, so intimidating, so powerful. How wrong were they? Shame we can't get the advanced power plants yet. You know, I always really enjoyed using orchids in this game. The, uh, that was a bit shit. Ah, it doesn't matter. I was going to sell that and rebuild it, but fuck it. It doesn't matter. There we go. Um, let's get a Hummer. Construction complete. Building. Now. Ah. Can actually hit that. Should be one flame tank, yeah. And I believe that's all that's actually up there. If memory serves. Yes. Okay, cool. Now, I don't think they actually have any other way of sending troops at us from this way. Okay, I actually thought there was um, a bigger base opening here. That's interesting. Cool. Right, silos needed. You mean... Helipads needed. Now what we could do, to be really dickish, we could just literally block that off. Should we do that just for shits and giggles? Just for the funsies? Shit, I'm down for it. Why are you harvesting that stuff? We are going to be out of Tiberium soon. But that's okay. Tis not important. Right, you guys. Rip and tear. We've got a nice little arm here of walkers. Which is cool. So the flyboys are ready to do the damage. However, they do have SAM sites there. But we've got so many walkers, it really doesn't matter. Trouble is, what to do with this guy? I suppose we could continue exploring. Might as well fill out the map, I suppose. For no other reason than fuck it, why not? Now, I've seen people finish this level in so, like, well, in seconds, almost. About 15 minutes, technically. Technically, 15 minutes is seconds. There are seconds and minutes, so that is correct. Uh, right, you can go there. Now... Just for shits and giggles, and because I've never actually done it, let's just block them off there, just for the fun of it. Just because it's cruel. And it's so fun to manipulate the uh, AI this way. We could actually even box their tanks in, proper fuck them over. There we are. Now, I can't see why this wouldn't work, unless a harvester will actually go over. But I kind of doubt it. Building. Building. Now you'll notice that the AI always uh, will travel the shortest distance as well. Building. But instead of uh, the AI calculating how far the route is around the terrain, Building. it doesn't count obstacles, it literally draws a direct line and that's how it uh, gauges distance. Which is kind of really dumb, Building. when you think about it. Construction complete. 
But there we go. Building. Then this game doesn't really have um, a proper AI system. Uh, this game runs on scripts. So there's no learning or anything like that involved. It just has a set uh, amount of commands to execute through each map. And uh, if anything kind of derails its set script, it kind of breaks it. And by kind of breaks it, really breaks it. Right, yes, let's sir. take out these SAMs. There we go. This is going to be expensive, building. but that's okay. We have the money. Let's get another walker. Cancel. Any of these flyboys damaged? Yes, you are. Go get replaced. Yes, sir. Really? You should just land on the free pad. Yes, sir. There we go. I don't know if they're going to replace. Actually, let's... I don't like building. losing walkers. Walkers are too expensive to lose. So let's give them more targets to shoot at. Although I don't think it works like that. I think they will just uh, pick the first target they see and frag it. And get another three orcas. I wish there was more we could do with the aerial vehicles. Like air to air combat and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know if anyone's played um, Total Annihilation, which is another one of my favourite games of all time. Um, I find it very difficult to choose between this and Total Annihilation uh, as my favourite strategy game of all time. I think this would probably just, just um, claim the title of my favourite strategy game. But it is close. Very close. Right, come on. One more. One more and we shall have overwhelming yes, firepower. Construction complete. Oh, let's yes, just sir. move our tanks up. There really is no opposition. Now. Oh, we can fit like one more in there. Building. So let's do it. We are going to run out of Tiberium. Now, the most efficient way to t uh, mine Tiberium is in a uh, checkerboard kind of formation. Because then the Tiberium regrows faster than you can mine it. But... To like micromanage that is just well, some people can, but it's just ridiculously uh, intense. Right, let's take you out next. Hopefully, we're not going to lose an orca. No, nope, there we go. Look at that. No orcas were lost. No orcas were harmed in the last raid. Excellent. Moving out. Now, rocket infantry can fire up. But they shouldn't be a problem. It really shouldn't. Sweet. All right. Second. Oh, they did build that back. Although their funds are not unlimited anymore. Yeah, they do have a lot of. Uh... Oh, we can't thin the herd by doing that. So actually, that's not as wise as I originally thought. I mean, we can thin the herd with these guys. Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Silos, silos needed. Um, let's just build tanks. I suppose, really, we could just build silos. I suppose it's kind of redundant moving them back to the pads. Um, destroy that. Should actually have enough missiles. Yeah, enough missiles to take two out in one run. We could probably take three out in one run. Building. Construction complete. Suppose yes, very little point actually just repairing these guys. Very little point indeed. Um yes, sir. Go for that one. Ready. There we go. Oh, airstrike ready. Sweet! Now what we're gonna do with that sucker. Unit lost. <laughs> ah, what a mess. Right, yes, waste that. Now, when you destroy the enemy harvester, first thing the enemy will try and do is replace it. Which is kind of silly when you think about it. When I say kind of silly, I mean it's incredibly silly. Building. Because it can't actually do anything. But let's unleash these guys. Just because having them all 
penned up like that is a little bit silly. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. At least this way we can thin the herd. Yes, sir. Right, next target, yes, that obelisk. Actually, you might as well go for these next. Yes, sir. Yep, they are so low on money, they're now selling their buildings. Right, reload. Reloaded. Yes, Waste sir. that. Now that way, they can't actually afford to replace their harvester. Airstrike ready, you say? Well, waste them. <laughs> nice. Yes, sir. This is what we call punishing the enemy. And their construction yard should be there. Now, what are they going to have a lot of? Not much, actually. I suppose, really, to shut the computer up, we could just build loads of... Silos, just for shits and giggles. I actually forget how much a silo can hold. I don't think it's a lot. I think it's maybe a thousand. Something like that. But they do actually take up a fair amount of power. But we have an abundance of power, so it's all fine. There we go. Right, um... Go hit that. That's their construction yard. Did I actually lose? Okay, why didn't all of those take off? Airstrike. Ready. That's interesting. Alright, airstrike. Let's thin out some of this infantry. Yes, sir. Still only getting one... One dude. Alright, let's take that out. Come on. Oh, seriously? We need another orca. That was kind of annoying. I do like the way the orcas uh, land facing their target. That always something always uh, tickled me about that. All right, get your ass back down there, boy. You sit your ass down there, boy. Yeah, man. Get patched up. I'll have you back in the combat zone before you know it. Uh, you're not part of the squad. Yeah. And that's the Windows button. Why is my Windows key not on? I've got a Windows lock key on my computer. And apparently, it's not activating. Well, never mind. Um, now, let's take you out. There's no way they should be able to repair it with all these guys. You're not firing all your missiles, are you? Something strange is going on here. Ah. Select. Right, let's destroy those guys. Right, and they now have no defense against us whatsoever. Really? So, we're going to roll in with these. What's left of you guys? You need repairs. Let's get some... Let's get some Humvees as well. Humvees are good. Humvees will morph up the infantry. And the tanks will take out the armor. Building. Unable to comply. I would say four or five Humvees will do it. Complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. We've already got one there, actually. Yes, sir. Nice. Yes, sir. Excelente. Yes, sir. Ready for the final push. Always have a mix of Humvees and tanks, because as we've seen, tanks suck yes, massive amount of goat penis when it comes to uh, destroying infantry. Which doesn't make any sense, you know. But that's the way it is. My right, buddy, you could probably stop harvesting now, to be fair. Yes, airstrike, ready. Airstrike, airstrike, airstrike. Select target. Let's go for that group there. Now that's opened the floodgates. Yes, sir. Notice how the enemy is focusing on one soldier, or on one tank. Primarily. That's how the AI works. Or doesn't work, depending on how you look at it. Ah, oh, they did have one rocket guy left. 
Not anymore. Ooh. More tanks left too. There we go. And even a harvester has joined the party. That's very, very bold of you, my friend, but you can go back now. Right. Let's burn the rest of this. There we go. Yeah, there is literally no point in building concrete walls or chain link fences in this game. There is no advantage to them whatsoever. And that is not wiped out. But that is not enough. We need to destroy this. Move a tank through. Kind of strange, really, the way this uh, level's scripted, but there we go. Right, and that will spawn our little Chinook. Go, my friend, to freedom! Mission finished. And that is how you can actually turn quite a bloody hard level into a very easy one. Whew. And did we? We actually finished down 30 minutes. <laughs> Almost as if I uh, did that by design. Intelligent design. There we go. <laughs> Three hours, eight minutes. So I don't think so. We lost 26 men. Look at the casualties they had. Now that is a casualty board that I like to see. Supreme victory. Right. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, when we return, we're on to Mission 12. Mission 12 is uh, hmm, quite an interesting one, to say the least. Uh, the game starts getting significantly harder from here. But thanks for watching, guys, and as always, until next time.